Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today I'm gonna open up this sealed box of the collectible minifigures at the Looney Tunes series and then I'll provide my review on the individual minifigures after the opening of the box. Once again, the release of this uh, minifigure series has been delayed for a month in our local stores, uh, even though it was available uh, on Lego dot com and our local lego shop so let's just open it up and uh, start our opening game and here we go here the box of uh, lego uh, collectible minifigures looney tune series once again uh, there's only 12 minifigures to collect and as usual i'm going to uh, open up from this row and then move on to this one uh, so the first minifigure i'm going to open up just to uh, get the uh, pamphlet so i know um, the numbers of individual minifigure and then each one i'll just view it if it's something that i haven't got before then i would open it if it's something that i already have then i would just mark the number um, without further ado let's get started here we go, let's just look at the first pack right? I don't need to feel it I'm just gonna open it and see what's inside um, I really like the packaging uh, for this series As you can see, you've got like Let me just uh, focus on the package a little bit As you can see, you can see all those uh, Looney Tune images on the package This is really nice And our first main figure is Mm, let me figure out what's the name of this character because uh, even though I like Looney Tunes when I was a kid, not every character I know the name. And I just figured out her name and her name is uh, Petunia Pig. So here's the uh, first one. Let's see what's the uh, second pack. So uh, looking at other reviews, it seems like not every sealed box has three sets. So that's my only concern, so let's just figure out if I get a uh, free complete set. So let me try. So there's a flat tile over here based on what I see. I think this is a Pocky Pig. Let's open up and find out. I'm correct. It is Pocky Pig. Let's just focus a little bit. Here you go. Now next pack. Should be fairly easy uh, to find. So I feel the skirt piece. And if I look at uh, the this uh, sheet of paper here, the only minifigure with a skirt piece is the uh, Petuni pick. So I just need to mark the number here, which is a uh, number eleven. Okay, next pack. Okay, something interesting. Also, come on, I can. Usually, you just need to find the uh, right accessories, and that's pretty easy. Um, this is the torso. This is the leg, it's a shorter leg. I have a feeling because I can feel the, the 4 by 2 flat tile, so it's another pocky pig. Okay, next one. Well, kind of the shot they can give it away um, I think it's a uh, Tweety Bird I definitely don't have this one um, let's just open it up and see what's inside no I got it wrong it's another Petunia Pig unfortunately you know, I'm getting rusty at feeling the back um, yeah, I just get 100% accuracy. Uh, so let's see what's the next one. That's something different. Okay, 
is it though? I have a feeling it's another pokey pick. Yes, I find this a black tile. So number twelve here. Oh, I'm so sad. I get one mistake this early already. Typically, I don't make this mistake, but never mind. Let's see what's the next one. Definitely not a pick this time because, uh, based on the distribution, I already got all the Pokey picks and Petunia picks, so this is something. I don't have, but I don't know what it is. Let's just open it up and figure it out. Ah, it's Sylvester. It's Sylvester. It's one of my uh, one of my favorite characters from uh, Looney Tunes, so that's good. And let's see what's the next pack gonna be. Hmm, we got something round. There's only one minifigure with it. There's a Tweety Bird. Definitely correct this time. If I'm not correct, I'm gonna give this minifigure away. <laughs> yes, I'm correct. And here's the Tweety Bird. Better look. It's kind of big uh, in terms of you know, comparing with uh, other meaning figures, but let's see what's the next one. Let me just refocus on the camera. <clears throat> see what's the next one. Hmm. I think I can feel the baseball bat, so it's another Sylvester. It's number six. Okay, next one. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Seems like it's another Tweety Bird. Seems like if you got Sylvester, the next one is Tweety Bird, and then the next one is Sylvester, and the next one is Tweety Bird. This is kind of not really random distribution, to be honest. Next one. <laughs> Baseball bat. So definitely Sylvester. If this logic continue, the next one would be Tweety Bird. Let's see if this is true, and I can. Pretty much confirm it's true again because I can feel the same parts that I felt before. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, very interesting. I will definitely make a note uh, somewhere in the video, um, in the comments, uh, not comment section, but probably the description, uh, which might be helpful if. Um, you know, every box can distribute in similar way. So next one. Um, based on the logic, it should be something that I don't have yet. Um, but let's just feel a little bit more so I don't make mistakes again. It's definitely something I don't have. Kind of some interesting parts. Let's just open it up and see which minifigure it is. Who is the Tasmanian Devil? It's the Tasmanian Devil. Let me just focus a little bit. Uh, although it comes with a uh, different play, but it has its own uh, special light play. And it's another 
uh, favorite minifigure or favorite characters from Looney Tunes for me. So that's cool. Tasmanian Devil. And then let's see what's the next one. Given that he doesn't have really um, a counterpart or a rival, so it would be someone different, I believe. Let's see who he is. Hmm. I can feel that's a big piece here. There's something that I didn't have. Oh, it's a Mexican hat. It's uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Pretty sure. It's him. And uh, let's see. Yep, I'm correct. And here's uh, Speedy Gonzalez. It's interesting. So the, the hat and the hat is actually one single piece, which is a shame. I wish uh, they have a uh, individual um, headpiece and a uh, separate hat. Let's see what's the uh, next minifigure gonna be. It might be another Tasmanian devil if they follow the same logic, but this is seems like it. Um, let's just uh, give it a bit more feeling. Hmm, just a round piece. I think it's uh, Lola Bunny because uh, she's the only one with a ball of some sort, well, a basketball, but probably not the Lego basketball this doesn't really fit the scale. Ah, uh, didn't cut it very nicely, so let's see. I'm really struggling to opening it back today. What's the problem? And yes, it's uh, Lola Bunny. And here's Lola Bunny. Here's a better look. Okay, let's see what's the next one. So how many we have now? Two, four, six, seven. So we've got five more to go. It's pretty quick, eh? So let's see which minifigure is this. Hmm. Have to be extra careful. Not to uh, make the same mistakes again. So it's, um, you can feel another bag inside. So far, Speedy Gonzalez has two bags. But I don't feel it's him though. Let's just uh, take some more time. Ah, I can feel a gun of some sort is uh, Marvin the Martian, probably. Let's just open it up and we'll figure it out. Yes, it's uh, Marvin the Martian. Four more to go until. I get a complete set, so let's see which mini figure is this. Ooh, big head. Come on. Got full legs. And really don't want to open up another, you know, to cook it. Hmm. Definitely something I don't have yet. I can't yet feel which character is this. Shall I open it up? Really want to find the uh, accessories before I open it up. Come on. Ah, oh, I can feel the accessories. The boy is another. Lola Bunny. Yep, definitely. Which is number one. Number one. Next pack. Okay. Double back. It's definitely under Marvin the Martian. This is a unique helmet. It's definitely him. 
Yeah, you've got a minifigure hat as well. So, it's him, which is uh, figure number 10. Well, we'll finish one row. Let's start on the uh, other row and see which uh, minifigure we have this time. Ooh. Very long nose. Wild E Coyote, maybe? No, maybe not. Maybe yes, I can feel the E. So I think it's him. Come on, I should be correct. Yes, I am. Is a uh, Wild E Coyote or Coyote? Just uh, excuse my pronunciation. Uh, and then let's see uh, what's the next mini figure. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. So three to go. I'm a bit worried because I haven't got any bucks bunny yet. So uh, hopefully I get one soon. Otherwise, I could go out to the shop and try to fill one. Uh, I can feel the tail here. I think the only one with a tail like this is Road Runner. Not surprised, given that previously all the minifigures comes in pair. And yes, it's Road Runner. And here's Road Runner. Okay. Next one. I have a feeling it's gonna be and the Wild E Coyote. But actually not. I think you have another row runner here because I can feel the tail. So which is figure number four. Okay, next one. Uh pretty much this one gave it away. Uh, Pretty sure it's uh, yep. It's a uh, Wild E Coyote. This is a uh, figure number three. Still no Daffy Duck. No Fox Bunny. Next one. Another. Wow, E Coyote. It's so easy to felt his ears. Figure number three. Now, as long as I don't get another one of this, I'm confident I'll get the full set. Okay, next one. There's a Road Runner tail. Hopefully, no more Road Runner or Wild E Coyote. Next pack. Come on, give me Bus Bunny. Nope. Nope. Given this uh, square tile thing is uh, Daffy Duck. This Duffy Duck, then we just have one more menu figure to go. Yes, Duffy Duck. Here's uh, Duffy Duck. One more, just need Bus Bunny. How ironic, you know, the, the main characters hasn't appeared yet, making the, the last appearance, or making an appearance at last. Um, so next pack come on just give me bus bunny and a mission accomplish hmm. it might be just maybe this one is bus bunny i think it is because i can feel the uh the carrot 
Did we get the full set now? I think we did. I think we just did. What's up, Doc? It's a uh, bus bunny finally. So now we have the uh, full set of the Looney Tunes minifigure. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fill the remaining bags and then just double check what's the uh, distribution rate of my box looks like, and then we'll go take a look at the uh, individual minifigures. Okay, I finished filling all the bags, and the good news is I did get three complete sets of the uh, Looney Tunes minifigure. So now let's uh, take a look at the individual minifigure and my tips on filling uh, each minifigure. First, we take a look at Lola Bunny. So this is a character introduced from the movie Space Jam. I think this uh, minifigure looks uh, really nice. You got very nice uh, printing on, you know, the newly molded hat. Um, the torso and also the legs. Uh, at the back, you can see the the bunny tail. This is a very good minifigure. Although, you know, the basketball, I'm not sure. You know, it's not really a ball. Maybe it's better to in, like include the actual um Lego basketball piece, but kind of feel too big for this minifigure. But anyway, this is a very nice minifigure. And to find Nola Bunny, you just need to find her basketball because that's the only thing she has so very easy to find her and then we have Bugs Bunny here so Bugs Bunny is the you know very iconic pretty much the face of Looney Tunes really nice printing on the face the torso is okay well but you know because he doesn't wear any clothes so there's nothing much you can do about it but it's nice that they have the printing of his tails and uh, his accessory <laughs> You know, there's nothing else to include except this uh, carrot. So, although it's a really plain minifigure, but I really like this minifigure. And to find Buzz Bunny is very easy. Just look for the carrot. Then we have Wild E Coyote, Wild Wiley. I don't know, you know, pronunciation depending on where you're coming from. It can be different, but that's okay because this is another excellent minifigure. Again, you know, you don't have much printing. You have this rubbery tail here. It's all about the headpiece, which is done very nicely. Um, and his accessory, rather than his accessory, is really his nemesis, because uh, he usually get hit by, you know, this thing in the cartoon itself. But a very good minifigure. Believe it or not, to find him, you know, best way is to uh, feel um, the ears. The headpiece is quite unique because this character has the uh, longest nose out of all the other minifigures. Next, we have Roadrunner. This minifigure is going to generate lots of talking points because although the minifigure is done excellently, you know, it really captured the looks of uh, Roadrunner. But should it be in a minifigure form or should it be just a molded animal as an accessory of Wild E. Coyote? You know, that's, you know, up to anyone to discuss. Uh, but personally, I do feel, you know, the, the legs is a bit too thick. For this particular character but you know that the head is done really nicely and you know the tail if you just by itself you know it's really good but if you put wild e coyote next to him uh, i don't know it's a bit too strong divine road runner if you have watched the first part of this video you just need to find this particular tail piece it's so unique so easy to find next one is uh, tweety bird this is another minifigure will generate lots of talking points because by itself it's a <laughs> excellent minifigure. You can look at you know the details of her head. It's done very nicely. You've got printing of her tail as well. And just like row one, uh, but this one is actually much more obvious, is that she's too big. If you look at Sylvester, you know that's half of his size. But then if you release it as a molded animal, then you don't really, you know, get a single character. So it's really tough choice. But that's okay. It's a very well done minifigure. And to find Tweety Bird, the best way is to find the pieces of her hammer. Because, again, the only minifigure with those pieces. So it's so easy to find her. Here's Sylvester. This is another... 
very nice minifigure like you know I think throughout the series all the new model head has been done very nicely but because lots of characters don't actually wear any clothes so the torso can be a bit plain but it does have some nice printing on the legs and uh, it's dual molded you also get the tail and a uh, baseball bat so not bad and uh, it's one of my favorite characters as well so that's good and to find him just look for the baseball bat and then we have uh, Daffy Duck so this is one of the few minifigures comes with a unique accessory uh, I like that they have a new mold itself uh, we're using the one from Donald Duck you got the rubber with duck tail um, some printing on the uh, torso is hard to see but it's very small it's a nicely done minifigure to find this minifigure you just need to feel for this uh, rabbit season uh, piece it's very easy to find or sometimes you might just need to find the uh, duck tail so it's a good minifigure here and then we have Speedy Gonzalez. Again, this minifigure can be a little bit big, but you know, the same thing happened with the Disney uh, minifigure series. There's some animal characters, in order for them to be in minifigure form, you know, the size of that character might not be in scale compared to other minifigures, but that's okay because this is another very well done minifigure. The only thing that, as I mentioned earlier, um, that I wish they can improve on is that, you know, the head and the the hat is a separate piece, but that's okay. It's still a lovely minifigure. You got this new mouse tail. But the best part of this minifigure is these uh, cheese pieces, uh, which is unique or exclusive to this character. But hopefully, you know, it become more widely used in other sets. The good thing is you do get one extra. You know, you're supposed to get three, but they do give you one extra in the uh, pack. So to find Speedy Gonzalez, just look for his uh, unique headpiece. And then we have Tasmanian Devil here. You know, it's a uh, very unique minifigure again. Uh, he does come with this uh, specific plate. And it's printed. You got, you know, another piece down below. So give it, I think you might use it to spin him. Uh, <laughs> it's not successful. You do get this. Uh, you know, normal play if you don't want to uh, spin him around. Uh, the accessory is just a typical drumstick and a uh, pie, and the headpiece is uh, very uniquely molded, which is really nice. You got really nice printing. You know, this is another excellent minifigure. Uh, to find him, you know, the best part is to find this piece here or this plate here. It's very unique. You can't miss it. Then you have Marvin the Martian, um, probably my least favor in this set just because you know I don't really connect with this character um, you know there's not much printing he has a you know unique helmet uh, you know the headpiece is a typical minifigure headpiece uh, it's a you know bendable a medium size leg he has his uh, laser gun uh, to find this minifigure just look for the gun on this uh, unique helmet then we have Petunia Pig does this character exist? Because I can't recall I've seen her in any episode, but then I haven't watched every episode. Um, this is actually, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to say about this character. It's definitely a very well done minifigure. Got some printing on her torso. Is that a um, medium size leg? But because of uh, the skirt piece, you can't really bend her that much. The, her accessories say typical teapot and a teacup. Um, to find her, you know, the head piece is very unique, but it's easier just to uh, look for the skirt piece, which I missed, which uh, I will end up open up another one, which is okay because I never sell or resell any minifigures. Just, I'm just keeping it, you know, sealed, and then I might open it later on, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, there she is. And finally, we have Pocky Peg, you know, how good. His accessory is this printed piece with that soft folds to be the final minifigure to review. Um, but let's just remove his uh, accessory, which is really nice. You know, the best part out of you know the whole uh, minifigure. Um, very nice. Well, I wouldn't say nice printing. You got printing on the torso and the back, but the typical Lego situation with um, 
printing some light colors on top of a dark color plastic is that the color doesn't look really nice. Um, he has some printing on his legs and using the medium sized leg. But the minifigure itself, you know, the headpiece, right, is uh, really good. It does really capture um, his looks really well. Um, and to find him, to forget about the minifigure, just find this uh, uh, 2x4 flat tile. It's so easy to find, you're not going to miss it. Uh, very nice minifigure. And this is the latest LEGO collectible minifigures Looney Tunes series. Uh, for me, this is actually pretty nice. It's a, uh, a nice change of vibe compared to uh, other licenses that you got. I think it's good that for all the characters, they you know create new molded hats for them. You know some characters, you know the size a bit, you know questionable compared to other characters, but with it by itself, they all look excellent. For me, my favorite is definitely you know Bugs Bunny and and some of my favorite characters. Um, of course, the accessory side is a bit uh, of a um, I wouldn't say let down, but you know every time. We have collectible minifigure series. We're always kind of expecting some new um, accessories, but given that you got so many new molded hat, I think uh, that's okay. Um, do let me know what's your uh, favorite characters in the uh, comment section below. If you like my video, uh, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.